the SR-71 Blackbird was the fastest spy plane ever built, a record-holding legend. For over 30 years it flew at the edge of space. While the exact number isn't officially verified, some sources claim it outran as many as 4,000 missiles fired at it without a single loss to enemy action. However, in an era of advanced satellites, hypersonic weapons, and sophisticated air defenses, its Cold War technology is a relic. The world needs a new eye in the sky, one that can see everything, everywhere, in minutes. Well, what if I told you they're building it? A successor that aims to fly at Mach 6, twice as fast as its parent, is entirely autonomous and will redefine what it means to be untouchable. This is the story of the SR-72, the son of Blackbird. You can't grasp what's coming next without looking back at the legend it has to live up to. Developed in secret by Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works division, the SR-71 Blackbird was a machine built to do the impossible. It was an aircraft from an era when, as its famous designer put it, everything had to be invented. Flying at over Mach 3.2 to altitudes of 85,000 feet, the Blackbird was less of an airplane and more of a spaceship that just skimmed the atmosphere. Its mission was simple, fly faster and higher than any threat. For decades, it was the ultimate intelligence gathering tool snapping pictures from the most hostile airspaces on the planet. Its most excellent defense was its incredible speed. No surface-to-air missile could catch it. But in the late 1990s, the Blackbird was retired, leaving a massive void in America's spycraft capabilities. Satellites, for all their power, have predictable orbits, making them easy targets. Drones are often too slow to survive in contested airspace. This created a capability gap a blind spot in the nation's ability to identify and respond to threats as they emerge. For years, only whispers and rumors filled that void. Then, Lockheed Martin broke the silence. They were working on a successor. Not just an upgrade, but a true generational leap. Codenamed the SR-72 and nicknamed the Son of Blackbird, this new aircraft isn't just supposed to fill the gap. It's intended to create a whole new category of air power. The world the Blackbird flew in is gone. Today's battlefields are dominated by something military strategists call Anti-Access Area Denial, or A2-AD. Think of it as an invisible fortress wall, a giant defensive bubble packed with advanced missile systems and integrated radars, designed by adversaries like China and Russia to keep US forces out. Traditional stealth planes, while still impressive, are facing new and more effective counter-stealth technologies. The old playbook of simply being invisible is becoming increasingly difficult to execute, in this new world, one thing is king again. Speed. And not just fast, but impossibly fast. The Pentagon needed something new. A tool that could punch through these no-go zones, do its job, and be gone before the enemy even knew what had happened. The answer isn't to be so stealthy you go unnoticed. It's to be so fast that being noticed doesn't matter. This is the problem the SR-72 was born to solve. Speed is the new stealth. Building a plane that can scream through the sky at over 4,000 miles per hour presents some of the most insane engineering challenges you can imagine. The SR-72 isn't just an evolution, it's a revolution in three key ways. First, the hypersonic leap. The SR-72 is being designed to fly at speeds hitting Mach 6, that's twice as fast as the SR-71. At that speed, you could fly from New York to London in about an hour. But holding that speed is incredibly hard. A standard jet engine can't handle it, and a rocket engine can't breathe air. The solution is a wild piece of tech called a turbine-based combined cycle, or TBCC, engine. Think of it as a car with an automatic transmission that shifts into a rocket. At lower speeds, it behaves like a traditional jet, taking off and climbing. But as it nears hypersonic velocity, the engine transforms, and a scramjet takes over. A scramjet is an engine with almost no moving parts that works like a whale feeding on krill. It uses the plane's face-melting velocity to ram massive amounts of air into the engine for combustion. This hybrid engine is the heart of the SR-72, the key that enables it to take off from a runway, accelerate to hypersonic speeds and land again, all with one seamless system. Second, this is a ghost in the machine. Unlike the SR-71 and its two-person crew, the SR-72 is designed to be completely uncrewed. Removing the pilot from the picture is a total game-changer. It's like replacing a human driver with a supercomputer that has instantaneous reflexes. It eliminates all the limitations of the human body, life support, g-forces, and sheer endurance. This means the aircraft can be lighter, fly more aggressive flight paths, and stay on mission for much longer. It also opens the door to an AI pilot that can make calculations and react to threats in milliseconds, way faster than any human ever could. 
Third, the mission has evolved. The SR-72 isn't just envisioned as a spy plane, it's being designed as a reusable intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike platform. Its ability to enter enemy airspace at will makes it the perfect tool not only to gather intel, but also to deliver a weapon. The legacy of the SR-71 Blackbird was forged in the Cold War, an icon of ingenuity that flew untouched for three decades. Now, in a new era of global competition, its successor is taking shape in the shadows. The SR-72 is more than just a faster plane. It's the embodiment of a new doctrine, where speed is the ultimate armor, and autonomy is the key to the future. It's a combination of hypersonic speed, artificial intelligence, and potential strike capability that promises to give the United States an unparalleled strategic edge for decades. The era of the Blackbird is over, but its spirit, that relentless drive to build what's never been built, to fly faster and farther than anyone ever has before, is alive and well. The son of Blackbird is coming, and with it, the dawn of a new hypersonic age in military aviation.